फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डायग्नोस्टिक सोनो क्राइटेरियाज फॉर कोलेलिथियासिस दैट इज हाउ टू रिकॉग्नाइज गोल्डस्टोन डिजीजेस ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड एग्जामिनेशन There are three sono criterias to recognize gold stone diseases on ultrasound examination. That are first, echogenic focus; second, cast acoustic shadow; third, see gravitational dependence. Remember three point again: echogenic focus, cast acoustic shadow, see gravitational dependence. These are the three criteria to recognize gold stone diseases on ultrasound examination. Let us discuss it one by one. Again, the same thing. Three sono criteria to recognize gold stone diseases. Those are echogenic focus. कास्ट इकोस्टिक सेडो सी ग्राविटेशनल डिपेन्डेंस रिमेम्बर अगेन इकोजेनिक फोकोस कास्ट इकोस्टिक सेडो सी ग्राविटेशनल डिपेन्डेंस रिमेम्बर वन थिंग अगेन स्टोन लेस देन टू टू थ्री मिलीमीटर मे बी डिफिकल्ट टू भिजुअलाइज ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड अगेन आई एम टेलिंग स्टोन लेस देन टू टू थ्री मिलीमीटर मे बी डिफिकल्ट टू भिजुअलाइज ऑन अल्ट्रासाउंड लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इकोजेनिक फोकस व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय इकोजेनिक फोकस एन फोकस इज इकोजेनिक दैट मीन्स That focus have more level of echos. That means that focus is more bright or more white in color. By comparing between two structures or comparing between two organ or organ with surrounding structure or organ with a point, you can able to level. This focus is hypoechoic or hyperechoic or isoechoic. Or an echoic. On the first image, the lesion is isoechoic. It means the lesion has same level of echo on comparing surrounding structure. The on the second image, the lesion is hypoechoic. That means the lesion has less or minimum level of echoes. On third image, the lesion is hyperechoic. That means The lesion is more bright or more white in color due to having more level of echoes. On fourth image, the lesion is anechoic, that is purely jet black or dark in color due to presence of no level, no level of echoes inside. I have already discussed about this topic in my previous video. Go and see the video. एन फोकोस इज इकोजेनिक और एन फोकोस इज हाइपोरिकोइक इन द अदर वर्ड यू कैन से देड फोकोस इज मोर ब्राइट और मोर व्हाइट इन कलर ड्यू टू ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द अल्ट्रासाउंड बीम और ऑल अल्ट्रासाउंड बीम आर रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक फ्रॉम द लेजन टू द ट्रांसड्यूसर हुईच मेक्स द फोकोस हाइपोरिकोइक और मोर ब्राइट और मोर व्हाइट इन कलर In this slide, the first image shows posterior acoustic enhancement due to presence of clear cystic fluid, any coic fluid just anterior to it. Third slide shows posterior acoustic shadow due to presence of hyperechoic or echogenic structure just anterior to it. This slide shows transverse section of gallbladder having a echogenic structure inside. 
दिस फोकोस इज इकोजनिक और हाइपोर इकोइक और मोर ब्राइट और मोर व्हाइट इन कलर ड्यू टू ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द अल्ट्रासाउंड बीम आर रिफ्लेक्टेड वेक फ्रॉम द लेजन टू द ट्रांसड्यूसर हु इज मेक्स द फोकोस मोर ब्राइट और मोर व्हाइट इन कलर दिस स्लाइड अगेन शोइंग एन इकोजनिक स्ट्रक्चर इन साइड एज ऑल द अल्ट्रासाउंड बीम आर रिफ्लेक्टेड वेक फ्रॉम द लेजन इट सेल्फ टू द ट्रांसड्यूसर This image again showing an echogenic structure inside gallbladder having posterior acoustic shadow. Now discuss about some echogenic lesions inside gallbladder. Some echogenic lesions are mobile and some are fixed or immobile. Mobile echogenic lesions are slugs and stone inside gallbladder immobile or fixed echogenic lesions are polyp impacted or adhesive stone slow moving to me effective sludge let's discuss about cast acoustic shadow what do you mean by cast acoustic shadow posterior acoustic shadow means that area is non scannable or non resolved part that area looks dark in the other word you can say when there is posterior acoustic shadow there must be an echogenic lesion just anterior to it but reverse is not true that means in every echogenic lesion there may not have a posterior acoustic shadow always is almost all ultrasound beam are reflected back from the lesion to the transducer the area just posterior to it will be appear as a dark or black in color due to this area is non scannable or non resolved part stone and very rarely slugs produce posterior acoustic shadow but in other cases like blood pus milk inside gallbladder pigmented stone slugs never produce posterior acoustic shadow polyp and growth inside gallbladder never produce posterior acoustic shadow this slide shows an echogenic structure having posterior acoustic shadow it is due to stone itself i have already discussed about this topic in my previous video go and see the video This slide shows a single echogenic lesion having a single posterior acoustic shadow. It is due to stone itself. This slide shows a single posterior acoustic shadow having a single echogenic lesion. This slide again showing a single posterior acoustic shadow. With a single echogenic lesion. This slide shows double echogenic lesion having double posterior acoustic shadow. This slide shows multiple posterior acoustic shadow with multiple echogenic lesion. That means multiple stone inside. Let us discuss about sig gravitational dependence. What do you mean by sig gravitational dependence? Sig gravitational dependence means on changing the position of the patient, that is on moving the patient to other side, 
the lesion should move to the gravitational dependent point in sitting position the dependent point of gallbladder is fundus in supine position the dependent point of gallbladder is neck of gallbladder in semi recumbent position the body of gallbladder is the dependent point of gallbladder as i have already told gallbladder having three parts fundus body and neck of gallbladder in the sitting position the dependent part of gallbladder is fundus in supine position the dependent part of gallbladder is neck of gallbladder but in semi recumbent position the dependent part of gallbladder is body of gallbladder it means that in supine position the stone inside gallbladder will proceed to neck of gallbladder but in case of sitting position the stone inside gallbladder will proceed to fundus of gallbladder this slide shows an echogenic lesion or stone is present at fundus that means the position of the patient is sitting this slide shows an echogenic lesion or stone inside gallbladder is present near body that means the position of the patient is semi recumbent this slide shows an echogenic lesion or stone inside gallbladder is present near neck of gallbladder that means the position of the patient is supine now discuss about some mobile echogenic lesions inside gallbladder are sludge and stone inside gallbladder fixed or immobile echogenic lesions inside gallbladder are polyp impacted or adhesive stone slow moving to me effective sludge some other mobile lesions inside gallbladder are sludge pseudo sludge blood inside gallbladder pus inside gallbladder milk of calcium bile these lesions move to the dependent part of gallbladder on changing or moving the position of the patient to other side thank you thanks for watching